I'm Devin Larratt. Mike Aiello, the king of New York. We're here with the World Arm Wrestling League, and we are going to talk about the finer points of how to win an arm wrestling match and how to beat your friends. So I guess uh, we can start from the bottom and work our way up to the there's many stances you can take, but most people will do a split stance. The arm that you're arm wrestling yeah. with, the same leg is going to go uh, forward. Yeah. This is going to create a brace so that you can pry off the table with your hip to generate force. Your left leg can move forward or back to give you a variety of technical choices. You want to hug the table, you don't want to be back here. You want to get as close as you can to the table, your hip basically into it. You want to keep your arm and elbow tight and using your lat. Basically, uh, always stay tight when you're arm wrestling. You, don't want, you never want to be extended. The more extended you are, the less power you're going to have. So you always want to stay in tight. Use your, it's, and people really don't understand, arm wrestling is not just an arm. You're using your whole body. So. When you get on the table, you're using your whole, your whole body, not just your arm. So, very important uh, to do that. Some other choices you'll see a lot of arm wrestlers do is you'll see them put their foot up so that they can do more pressing techniques. You'll see them put both feet under so they can do more backwards top rolling style techniques or even lift the off leg to generate you know, pressure through, through their body diagonally. When it comes to uh, setting up, uh, you're always trying to get a better grip. Normally, the better grip is determined by height and depth. So, when you talk about depth, you see this line created by the thumb where it intersects my hand. A deeper grip goes further past. And this is typically thought of as advantageous for me. Absolutely. And, 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 and counter to that, Mike would be coming up as well to, you know, make his grip uh, One of the best ways to think about arm wrestling is your attacking weakness as opposed to thinking about where you're strong. A lot of people when they first start arm wrestling, they really just want to bring everything close to them and push, which is a great choice, but what you'll see uh, more advanced guys do is they're going to start to target uh, where it's really uncomfortable for you. So they're going to they're going to hit primarily your fingertips or the pronation of your palm. And this is what we think about hand control. Yeah. So if he if he went in like this, I would want to open his fingers this way I'm using a top roll technique. So that's that's one way to counteract it. It's, uh, Hear me? You want to use your bones and your frame a lot as well in the sport of arm wrestling. Uh, you want to have everything in line so that you're able to push Where am I going? with your frame in, in, a, in a safe place. If you're trying to push a match and you're open, this can create a spiral through your humerus, which, which can be dangerous. So when you're setting up to push, you typically want to have your elbow inside your body and you want to have the angle from your shoulder to your hand intersect your opponent's arm. If ever, if ever, so see Mike's arm right now. Arm break position. I just have more efficiency right now. I have more of my frame behind it. He's, he's using just his arm, I'm using my body. So that's another thing to think about. Basically any, any angle you can secure, be it bending your wrist in, pronating, getting your arm inside your body, getting your arm close to you is to your advantage. There's three ways to arm wrestle. There's a hook, there's a top yeah. roll, and a press. Uh, everyone finds their niche and where they, they feel strong, and you work on that. Okay. That's usually where everyone uh, feels strong. A lot of times when people start arm wrestling, they think about the pin, pin pad, but most pro arm wrestlers are actually thinking more about pulling you away from your body. So as opposed to going to the side, they're trying to pull you across the table get the match closer to you. Yeah, it's like when, you, when you're doing a, a, a top roll, it's like you're pouring a cup of water into your own, into your own pocket. So that's, that's kind of like the, the idea that you want to do. 
Nice, nice. That's what it's all about.